Hello everyone, I'm Ross, and today I'm going to show you a simple and performant way to use icons within a Tailwind CSS application. I came across this method of doing icons in the Svelte documentation. They have some good best practices as far as how to do CSS, and one of their recommendations was to include icons directly within your CSS. Um, this is hard to do if you're not using a framework like Tailwind, but Tailwind uh, allows you to write plugins for it, and one of the popular plugins is the Iconify Tailwind CSS package. And you can write your icons directly within your Tailwind CSS classes with this plugin enabled. And Iconify provides lots of different icon libraries uh, for most of the popular open source packages. So it's a nice way to get access to lots of icons and just use them directly within your Tailwind classes. There's some nice advantages to doing icons this way, namely caching. Static CSS files can be cached with immutable headers because they can have a hashed file name. So the client only ever has to download these assets once instead of like on your HTML page uh, that can't be cached as aggressively because it can't have those immutable headers. Uh, the icons also aren't being sent in the actual HTML response. Um, they're just included once in your CSS and then they're reused throughout your application. So instead of having uh, HTML markup over and over again with your icons in your SVGs, they're just used uh, directly within your CSS file. There are also some disadvantages of doing icons in CSS. You're not able to animate the icons and you can't target the elements within the SVGs. So if you do those things, you may want to avoid this strategy. To get started, you're going to need a few packages in addition to having Tailwind CSS installed. Uh, the first one is the Iconify uh, Tailwind package and there's a three and a four version depending on which version of Tailwind you're on. And then there's also the Icon Packs packages. So I'm just gonna use the Lucid Icon Packs um, and you can install whichever ones you're going to be using with iconify-json slash the icon pack. I'm using Tailwind version four, so the new way to add plugins to your Tailwind project is with directly within your Tailwind CSS file, and you can add in the plugin with the app plugin syntax. And so we're gonna say app plugin, and then the name of the package, Iconify Tailwind V4. And then there's some options you can add. I'm going to add in the scale. I think they look better if they're a little bit bigger. Um, so I'm gonna add in scale 1.3 to here as an option for the plugin. And now we should be able to use our icons as class names. And you can see here's the syntax that works out of the box once you have the plugin installed. So you use icon dash and then opening bracket and you'll say Lucid, which is the name of the icon pack that I used, and then the name of the icon. So if you go to the Lucid website, each icon has a name underneath and we can get the name of that icon and put it into our Tailwind class and be able to use that icon. So let's just try this A arrow down. And you can see we have that A arrow down icon rendered in our page. So a little bit more into how this actually works. Uh, if we go into our CSS file, you can see that we have some extra classes in here. And what's happening is we're putting that URL of that SVG directly into our CSS. So you can see that SVG here. And then that SVG variable is being put into the mask image properties to render that icon within the page. And because we're using Tailwind, we don't have to handwrite all of these classes with the different icons. They take the JSON file of the icon packs and generate these classes for us. Here we can take a look at that JSON file. So when you install the iconify-json slash lucid package, you receive these files. And if you look at the icons, 
there's our A arrow down, and you can see the code that's inserted into our CSS there. And that's really all there is to it. This can be used in any framework that supports Tailwind CSS, and you can take advantage of the extra performance benefits of having your icons bundled in a CSS file. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you like this video by giving the thumbs up or subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this.